I S U P K. Christians out here talking about that, talking about they married to Jesus, talking about they got a personal relationship with Jesus, talk about Jesus take the will, talk about Jesus saved me, I'm, I'm baptized through Jesus. What I want to break down to y'all is baptism, according to the scriptures. I want to show you that according to the scriptures, you getting dumped in that water for two seconds ain't going to change your life. That's not how you repent. That's not how you get the, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Lord. That's not how you get that. Where a homosexual getting dumped, dumped in, a, walk, in some, a, a bathtub, a jacuzzi, for like two seconds and coming up, that, that's not going to make him not be a homosexual. Because 10 times out of 10, a, hom a homosexual getting dumped in a, a bathtub for two seconds, he's going to be a homosexual again. Tomorrow. The next day. On Monday. You know what I'm saying? That That's not how you get saved. Alright? Go ahead and grab that first scripture, Barbara Shaw. Acts chapter 11, verse 15. And, and as I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell on them, uh -huh. as on us at the beginning. So the Holy Spirit's been on the earth since the beginning. Then, then remembered I the word of the Lord. So the word of the Lord came unto him. He remembered what what he was taught by Christ. He remembers all of this. He he remembered the Lord and what and what Christ told him and taught him. Go ahead. How that he said. John indeed baptized with water. So John baptized with water. Yeah, yeah, that happened. At one point in time, people were were getting baptized by water. But go ahead. But ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. That's not how you're gonna be baptized in 2017. That's not how you're gonna stop being a whore in a Christian church. That's not how you're gonna stop being a homosexual. That's not how you're going to stop killing your brothers and sisters in the black community, black, Hispanic, and Native Indian community. That's not how you stop smoking weed and cigarettes. That's not how you save your life. That's not how you get the spirit of the Lord. Jesus ain't taking over your will. Ten times out of ten, you do that, you're going to crash. You're going to get into a car accident. A train is going to hit you. The semi is going to hit you. Run you over. Go ahead. Keep going. Is that it? Read oh, that one more time. 15. What, what Christ said. Um, this is in red letters, by the way. That's how you know when Christ is, is speaking in the scripture. Go ahead. Then remembered I the word of the Lord, 
how that he said, John indeed baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. You're going to be baptized with the Holy Spirit, not by no water. That's over. You go in, in every single Christian church nowadays, they they uh, drowning babies in, in a bathtub. They dunking babies. Two dips. One, two. They done. That That's not baptized. That's not how you baptize. No. Since Christ came on the scene, you get baptized by the Holy Spirit. Right. You ain't going to be saved or baptized until you change your life. Until you decide to follow the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord. Until you get taught again by the ISCPK, you ain't going to get the, the Holy Spirit. That's right. You're going to stay dead, stay in wickedness, stay sinning against the Lord. Because everybody outside the UPK, ISCPK, under command of Joni Hanna, started out of 1 West 125th Street, Harlem, New York. If you're not in that body, then you out here serving a white man. You out here serving the devil. You out here serving Satan. You out here serving every other God but your own, one true God, Black, Hispanic, and Native Indian. You not going to get baptized like that. That's not how you get the Holy Spirit. Go ahead to the next scripture. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 20. Which sometime were disobedient when once the long-suffering of God waited in the days of Noah. Read it over from the top one more time. Which sometime were disobedient when you're disobedient, meaning you sin it. Go ahead. You sin against the Lord. A sin is a transgression against the law. A sin is a transgression against the law, statutes, and commandments. So everything that you see in the Christian church, they up here eating pork shrimp, crab lobster, catfish, tuna. They up here uh, sleeping with everybody wives, sleeping with all these little boys in the Christian church. All of that, they sin it. All of these Muslims selling dope and crack in the, in the neighborhood, they sin it. All right, go ahead. When once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, uh -huh. while the ark was preparing. So Noah was preparing the ark. Go ahead. Wherein few, that is, eight souls were saved by water. Eight people were saved by water. Noah, his three sons, and their wives. Back then, the whole earth was flooded. Everybody died. If everybody was baptized and saved by water, then how did, why did they all die? Why, if you hold your breath under the water... For 10 minutes, you die. Why ain't you saved? Why didn't Jesus take the will then? Because you're not saved by water. You, you baptized and saved by the Holy Spirit. You got to die. You got to become a new creature. You got to get the wine. You got to get a new bottle and put new wine in that bottle. You got to become new. You got to repent and change your life. You can't be out here smoking weed, crack, shooting whores, shooting everybody on the block, selling crack to your grandma. You can't be out here doing all of these things. Beating up people, fighting, killing, stabbing people. That's not how you get saved. Go ahead. Keep going. Read one more time from the top. Which sometime we're disobedient. You're disobedient, meaning you sin it. Go ahead. When once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, uh -huh. while the ark was preparing, uh -huh. wherein few, that is, eight souls were saved by water. Eight, only eight people got saved by water. That's it. Go ahead to the next scripture. Eight people. That means you in the Christian church, yeah, I'd I, I be baptized. I, I was baptized by water. Christ, with his own words, he said, you, you ain't going to be baptized by water no more. You're going to be baptized by the Holy Spirit. How do you get that Holy Spirit? Coming to the ISUPK under command of Jeremy Hanna, we're going to teach you. Right. We're going to show you how. 
we're going to show you how to become that new creature. We're going to show you how to serve, serve the Lord. Go ahead. Is that uh, Lemon? Uh, what is that one? Dirt? Yeah. Oh, it's 19. Oh, 19? Yep. Acts 19, 2 through 4. Acts chapter 19, verse 2. He said unto them, Have you received the Holy Spirit since ye believed? Have you received the Holy Spirit since you believed? Go ahead. And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard. They didn't even know what the Holy Spirit was. Go ahead. Whether there be any Holy Spirit. They like, they like what? What is that? What is you talking about? Go ahead. And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? So how you baptize if you ain't never heard of the Holy Spirit? How? Go ahead. And they said unto John uh so like it. and they said unto John's baptism. They said, Oh, oh we we was baptized by John's baptism. AKA we got dumped dumped in water for like five seconds. That's how we baptized. But they ain't never heard of the Holy Spirit, though. Go ahead. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. So you got to believe in Christ. You got to believe in Christ to get the, the Holy Spirit. See, that's a, that's a cut to all of these fake so-called Jewish people the Israelite people, they call they call themselves uh, Jews, but they don't even believe in Christ. Like, right. Come on, man. They don't even read the New Testament. But but they the the uh, they claim to be the true people, the true chosen people of, of God. But they don't even read the the Bible, the whole Bible. You got that? Second one or the next one? Yeah. Matthew 28 and 19. Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Go ahead. Baptizing them in the name of the Father. All nations, meaning all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Did not one time did Christ or any of his disciples go and teach him. But that's a whole nother breakdown, man. You're going to have to come into the ISPK under Command of General Hunter to get that breakdown. That's a whole nother topic. But I'm going to tell you the short, quick version. He didn't come to save no heathens. He's not talking about no heathens. He's talking about the, the uh, people who are lost. They forgot their culture and their customs and their laws. They forgot the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. Black, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Right. They was all over the place. Still are to this day. And they got to be brought back. And that's what we're doing today in the ICPK under Commander Jim and Hobbit. That's right. Go ahead. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We baptizing them by, by teaching you this word. You got to be taught again. You got to become a new creature. You got to get rid of all of that stuff that you used to know. You got to throw all of them doctorates away in your mind, in your spirit. Throw them out and get this new wine. Get this new spirit. Get the spirit of the Lord. Go ahead to the next scripture. Is that 11? John 17 and 17. John, we, we got to teach you and tell you the truth. That's the only way you're going to get the, the Holy Spirit. You got to get the truth. And that's what Christ was about, the truth. Go ahead. John, chapter 17, verse 17. Sanctify, sanctify them through thy truth. We sanctify people through, our, through the truth that we learned from Commander Jim Hunt. Right. We sanctify them through the truth, go ahead, of the scripture. Thy word is truth. 
The word is truth. The the scriptures, the law, statutes, and commandments. That's the truth. You you can't get the Holy Spirit on unless you got the truth. You can't get the Holy Spirit unless you in the ISUPK on the command of Jim Right. You just can't do it. None of these other camps got the truth. There ain't no two bodies of Christ. Go ahead. Keep going. Yeah, come, come. As thou ha as thou hast sent me into the world, uh huh. Even so have I also sent them into the world. Right. We were sent to bring you the truth. We were sent to get you to follow the law, statutes, and commandments and start serving your true God again. Go ahead, get the get uh Acts no uh oh, no. Get get that. Exodus twenty and three. Alright. And and that's the the true baptism is not getting baptized with water. You gotta learn the truth. Come to the ICPK. We we gonna teach you the truth, and and we gonna give you that spirit. We gonna show you how to become a new creature. We gonna show you and do the scriptures, and we gonna give you counsel on how to change your life, change your life to serve the Most High in Christ. All right. And and that that's the end of that topic. I'm gonna go ahead and go on to the next topic. Go ahead. Exodus chapter twenty verse thirteen. Exodus twenty and thirteen. Listen good. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. Why am I bringing that up? Why? Because I'm about to let let y'all know uh, a secret. I'm about to blow your minds. And show y'all that abortions is the number one killer of black people. Regardless of what you thought and, and was taught in your schools, by your imams, by your pastors, they, the, the uh, Christian church will tell you that abortion is okay. They'll forgive you for that. Because uh, Jesus died, or whatever. Whatever they say. Jesus died for everybody. Jesus loved. God loves. That's what they'll tell you. But why ain't you love that baby that you was bringing forth? That child. You murdering somebody. You are killing somebody. But the scriptures say thou shalt not kill. The, the Christian church will tell you that uh, the laws are done away with, but they'll turn around and say murder is wrong. I mean, murder... I mean, they'll tell you murder is wrong, but then they say... Uh, all the laws is done away with. But if the laws is done away with, that means you justify murder and killing. Just like they justify abortions. Go ahead. Go ahead and read that. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 15. Can a woman forget her sucking child? Can a woman forget her sucking child? Yes, she can. Why do you think it's uh, damn near a million abortions a year in America. Black, the black, Hispanic, and Native Indian community has uh, over half a million abortions a year. That's just a fact. And, and why is uh, abortion accepted so much in our communities, in the society today? That's because the white man accepts that. The white man gets paid big bucks and big cash for that. After he take and cut up your baby in a in a uh, test tube, he goes and sell it to the highest bidder. Sell the parts. You know what I'm saying? Planned Parenthood is the number one killer and genocide of black people in 2017. Murdering. Murderers. And they funded by the government. Planned Parenthood is funded by the government. Planned Parenthood, if you do the research, was uh, was uh, funded and started by Margaret Sinner. Margaret Sanger is her real name, but I call her Sinner. She's a sinner and a murderer. She, she was a, a Nazi white supremacist who wanted to genocide black people 
And you can easily search this up on all kinds of uh, websites, documentaries, Netflix, all of that, man. This information is out there. But since you in the black community strung out on dope or you poor as ever, the number one excuse for black women killing their babies is because they said they ain't ready for the responsibility. They say that all the time. You heard that before? All the time. Uh, I, I, I ain't ready for the responsibility of a kid. Or they have to turn around and say, oh, I can't afford another kid. But they having sex, though. Does that, you not being able to afford to have a kid justify you murdering somebody? The white man is such, the, such a devil, he'll tell you that the, the, uh, there is, the baby is not alive in a real person until like eight months into the pregnancy, six months, eight months. But then they'll go up on the moon or on Mars, find one little drop of water and say it's life on Mars. One little molecule H2, H2O and helium mixed together. And then they say it's life on Mars. But they, but uh, a two-week-old pregnancy ain't life. Or a two-month-old pregnancy ain't life to them. Go ahead. That she should not have compassion on the son of her womb. These women out here who's having all these abortions, they don't have compassion. They... I, on Facebook, I've seen this this video of this woman. She had all of her abortions in a collage, in a notebook. Talk about, yeah, this is that one, and this is that one. I, yeah, I remember this one. and You know what I'm saying? A collage book of all the bodies that she's been piling up. Like, how much of a monster and how evil do you have to be? How much do you serve Satan, really, honestly? A lot. You are murdering everybody if it feels up to you. You will be the only person alive. But this is how I, I break it down to you, right? If your mom or whatever, your mom, your mother had an abortion, you would not be here. Go ahead. Yeah, they may forget. Go ahead to the next scripture, Bible show. Hold on, come. These women out here, man, come on, man. Why is you playing into the hands of the white man by killing off your army? You wonder why the black community is so messed up right now? It's because there ain't no real men and not enough men. Just imagine all of them millions of babies every year that you murdering imagine that they was alive in in the black community we will have an army we will have a fierce nation all right just imagine them plus the two million niggas locked up in prison out just imagine that we will not be serving and and uh subservient to the white man we will not be under their foot. We will be on top, ruling. If we follow the law, statute, and commandments in the Bible, we'll be put on high. We'll be the number one nation. We'll be running it. We, we'll be the head honcho. Go ahead. Psalms 127, ver verse 3. Lo, children are an inherit are an Heritage of the Lord. Children are a heritage of the Lord. Go ahead. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. The, you having a baby is supposed to be a, a war. A reward. But you killing that. You killing a gift from the Lord. In the Christian church, they were like, ah, I just want to uh, be blessed. How do you know you blessed? By having kids. That's how you know. That's a blessing from the Lord. That's a reward from the Lord. 
in the Christian church, that's all they be talking about. Right. They were like, how, how, how do you, how do you know that the Lord is with you? Right? Don't they say that all the time? They got this figment of imagination in the Christian church. They think that if you got money, then the Lord is with you. The Lord don't care about that, man. The Lord don't honor that, man. The Lord wants you to follow what he tells you to do. Not what the Christian pastors tell you to do. Pick up this book and read it. Hold that up for you, Barbara Shaw. Pick up that Bible and read it, man. It says, thou shalt not kill. So why are you murdering everybody? You murdered the whole entire black, Hispanic, and Native Indian community twice. Three times over already. Go ahead. Psalms, chapter 83, verse 5. For they have consulted together with one consent. The white man has consulted together with one consent, with everybody else. I don't hear no Asians talking about abortion is bad, and, and or China or North Korea talking about I'm going to war with America because they got Planned Parenthood in the hoods, every black community murdering them. Committing genocide on them. I don't see no none of these nations talking about worrying about that, caring about us. They that's because they consulted together. They in agreements. Why you think Planned Parenthood is funded by the government? That's how they get big money. Go ahead. They are confederate against thee. They hey. They all against you, hands down. They holding you down. They murdering you, killing you. Putting crack in your neighborhoods, guns in your neighborhoods, beating, beating you up and down the street. Police. Choking and killing unarmed black men. Like this, this lynching and hanging still in the South. Like this stuff that's going on is not new, man. There is no new thing under the sun. This is not new. You know what it is. You just blinded by the gifts that the white man gives you. Section 8, child support, uh, all of these blackity black organizations. They gave you uh, Black History Month. They gave you Martin Luther King Day. Like this man, these people are, have consulted against you, man. They are running you into the ground. They're keeping you a slave. They're keeping you asleep. They're keeping you serving other gods. So the Lord won't help won't help you. Will turn his face from you. But you gotta come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord. You can't continue to sin. You can't continue in sin, man. For your whole entire life. Then die and be born right back into hell. Right back into the hell that you left. Go ahead. Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 56. The tender and delicate woman among you. The tender and delicate woman. She's supposed to be sweet and tender, man. She's supposed to do it. You tell her to do it. But nah. You told her to have a baby. But what's she doing? She having an abortion. She murdering the nation. She helping the white man kill and destroy you. How long... Do you want to remain a slave in America? How long do you want to wake up to a 9 to 5 job? Can't never go on vacation. Can't never see the war. You never leaving. Why do you think you need a passport? You can't just up and leave. They gonna tell you as to sit down in the corner and go back to work. But every time a white person get mad at you, what do you say? Go find a job. Be a good nigga. Be a useful nigga. Continue to run this society while I prof, prof, profit off of it. You in the hood with rats and roaches while he's in skyscrapers, while he's at the Bahamas, while he's in Hawaii, Jamaica, Africa, Italy, while he's all over the world, your ass in the hood 
ducking from bullets, smashing roaches, buying up all the red at the Walmart. That's what you, what was happening to you. Because you are out here committing abortion, murdering the whole nation, you oppressing us. If them, if them niggas that, that you would have had been here, we'll be that much closer to being free. Go ahead. Which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground. You was a de delicate and tender woman at one point in time. Go ahead. For delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom. Delicateness and tenderness. That sounds to me like she out here getting her head done, nails done, but then the, the kids in the house all day by themselves or outside she in the house watching uh soap operas like you at one point were delicate and tender you know what i'm saying go ahead and toward her son and toward her daughter grab this last scripture michael shaw real quick like, I want to bring this out, right? Abortions in America ain't nothing new. Like I said, ain't nothing new under the sun. This happened before. A nation has tried to wipe you out before. Abortion has happened to you before, but in the in a in the past. Why you think the scriptures say remember the days of old? Because if you did, you would know that. Abortions ain't doing nothing but destroying your nation. What the white man is doing today is the same thing that Egypt and, and the Pharaoh was doing back then when we was enslaved. When we were serving them for all them years. It's the same thing. Go ahead. Exodus chapter 1 verse 16. And he said, when ye do. And Pharaoh said, go ahead. When ye do the office of a midwife. To the Hebrew women and see them upon the stools. Uh -huh. If it be a son, read, read a, a little farther up. Try, uh, try 13. Exodus. Uh, try 15 first. Exodus chapter 1, verse 15. And the king of Egypt spake to the Hebrew midwives. There we go. Go ahead. Of which the name of one was Ship Shipra. So Egypt was talking to the, to all the women. Go ahead. In Egypt, the Hebrew women, the Black, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Go ahead. And the name of the other, Pua. Go ahead. And he said, "When ye do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew women." Go ahead. He said, "When when y'all." In the office with the with the Hebrew woman, go ahead and see them, and see them upon the stools. And when they when they on the stools, go ahead. If it be a son, when they on the stools giving birth, and then and it be a son, go then, ahead. Then ye shall kill him. What? Then ye shall kill him. That's abortion, man. Pharaoh, straight up and down, told them, if these Hebrew women have a have a man child, have a boy. Then kill him. Get him out of here. Wipe all the men out. That's the only way to destroy a strong house. You wipe, you bind the strong man. That's how you steal the goods of the house. So, to destroy the house of Israel, the Pharaoh had to get rid of the men. Had to get rid of the boys. Go ahead. But if it be a daughter, but if the if it's a daughter, if it's a girl, go ahead. Then she shall live. Read read from from uh, verse sixteen. And he said, When ye do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew women, uh huh, and see them upon the stools. If you see them on the stool, 
If it be a son. If it be a son, then what? Then ye shall kill him. Have an abortion. Ye if shall. It, if it's a man, if it's a boy, have the abortion. Kill the baby. Get rid of him. But if it's a girl, then keep him. You know what I'm saying? Abortions ain't 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 nothing new, man. They always hated you. They always consult against you. All over the scripture. All throughout history. You can find that. They hate you with a perpetual hatred. It's going to continue to happen until you decide to follow the law, statutes, and commandments and join the ISUPK under Commander General Yohanna, man. That's right. All right? And with that, I just want to say Shalom, Yaw, Ba'a Shem, Yaw, Shah, Barakatah, to all my brothers. Shalom, Yaw, Shalom, Alatan, Ba'a Shem, Yaw, Shah, to all my sisters.